So in this video here I'm going to do a compression test so that means I've got to take off this cover so you've got to disconnect these two tubes here and that tube there and then pop it up And we need to disconnect all these. Two of them we've got the clips missing, so improvise. Just put that there for now. That's them done, then you pop them out. usually just like that but for some reason these ones are clinging on just gonna line them up so they're the same way that they're meant to be And then get the spark plugs out. Obviously once the spark plugs are out, put in the compression kit on each on each one and hopefully they're all in range but I have a feeling this one that I'm taking out now is not in range. I'll find out in a minute. So I've got the spark plug out, all of them. And now I've just got to, I've connected the compression gauge and I'm just going to do a quick test. This is cylinder one. I think I've connected it right. I'll find out in a minute. So in the car, I'm gonna let it turn over for a few cycles. And that one gets 175 ish so that one seems fine and obviously it worked which is a good thing so now cylinder 2 oh, connected to cylinder 2 just reset the thing by pushing in that the PSI so let's go around and try cylinder 2 I think I'll do a few more cycles, see if we can get to 175 as well.
remember number three is the one that I've got suspicions about so hopefully hopefully my suspicions are wrong but I doubt it that's the engine oil light probably don't know if it has been leaking but I think I've got to put the gasket sealer on the oil sump. Yeah, so that was eight seconds worth. Cylinder freeze right down. So looks like if cylinder freeze that far down, looks like it's gonna be the piston rings. Which is what my suspicion was. Um, it's a bit unfortunate, but it might mean that. I mean, the injectors. It's pointless cleaning them now because if it hasn't got compression, it's not. It's got nothing to do with it. But all of this is going to have to come off, <coughs> and then replace the piston rings that's gonna be the first cheapest option if that's on 50 not even 50 then it's definitely a problem so it's probably gonna be taking all this off belt and everything and then I can do that sump plug properly yeah that's basically the next plan of action is to take off the top end take off the bottom end pull the piston and replace the rings probably that's probably what it is is bad rings and then if it's not that, it's obviously a bad piston, but I'll only find that out when I get it all off, top and bottom. So, fingers crossed we can get that sorted within the next few videos. <laughs>